and welcome to today's practice for opening the shoulders and the neck. You're going to need uh, yoga blocks and a strap. If you don't have a yoga strap, using a belt or anything that you can substitute it that's nice and soft. So a bit of a different start to this class. We're going to actually lie down onto our backs and place a block as if it was a pillow to rest the back of the head onto. And then relax the body in Savasana. Adjust the shoulders, wriggling side to side if you need to. And once you've found a comfortable savasana, start to roll the chin side to side, pressing into the back of the head as you gently start to massage the neck and the back of the head. You can close the eyes if that feels good. Slowly and gently adding the movement to the neck and head area. The last few. And then bring the neck back to center. Roll onto the right side of the body and then onto the front of the body. So you're lying down. Bring the forehead onto your block, arms by the side of the body, relax. Press the forehead into the block at center to begin. If you're holding tension in the legs, relax them. And then start to add the movement side to side, creating a compression into the forehead, starting to release the tension in that area. And then slowly bring the forehead back to center, pressing at center. One more deep breath here. And slowly bring the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, and push yourself up into an all fours position. Place the blocks shoulder width distance in front of you. And then bring the elbows onto your blocks for our puppy pulse, hips above the knees. Allow the chest and the forehead to hang heavy. And then bring the hands to prayer and raise them up towards your ceiling. Feeling a deep stretch and opening around the shoulders. If it's too intense for the stretch, you can place the hands onto the floor and press with the finger pads onto the mat. Otherwise, if you'd like to explore a bit of an extra stretch for the arms behind the triceps, you can start to reach the prayer towards your neck. Just take a few deep breaths here, opening and releasing the shoulders. Hold it two more breaths. Release, extend the arms, press the finger pads into the floor to lift the chest up. Walk the hands back, blocks to the side. 
Cross the ankles and walk the hands back. Bring the hips behind the heels. Coming to the center of your mat into a cross leg position. Make yourself comfortable. So wiggling the hips up side to side if you need to. Or maybe placing a block underneath the hips. And then bring the hands onto the knees. Close the eyes and take a few deep breaths here to scan the body. With each inhale, growing taller through the crown of the head, creating the space in the body length into the spine and into the neck and with the exhale gently ease and let it go deep inhale and deep exhale last deep breath here And now with the eyes still closed, drop the chin towards the chest and allow the back of the neck to start opening up and stretching. Draw the shoulders down and away from the ears. And start to move a little, add a little bit of movement, bringing the chin side to side a couple of times. With your next inhale, bring the right ear all the way towards the right shoulder. And start to circle the head back. Exhale, left ear to the left shoulder. And the chin forwards and down. Two more circles into the neck in this direction. As we start to loosen up and open up the area around the neck. Exploring how it feels. If one side feels a bit tighter than the other. And when you've completed your third one in this direction, reverse. Start to bring the left ear to the left shoulder, then back, right ear to the right shoulder, and chin forward. Two more nice and slow in this direction. Remembering to coordinate the breath with the movement. Inhale to the left and exhale to the right. Draw the chin is back to the chest. Slowly roll it back up for some side stretch. Right hand, place it onto the left ear and gently pull the right ear towards the right shoulder to stretch and open the left side of the neck. Option to add on the hand onto the shoulder if you wish to intensify the stretch. And slowly press the head back into the hand, creating resistance, bring the head to center. Right hand down, left hand onto the right ear and pull. Bring the left ear to the left shoulder, nice and gentle. And if you enjoyed, the add on the hand onto the shoulder. You're welcome to do this on this side as well, if you wish. Slowly press the head back up to center and bring the left hand down. Other side, right hand, place it behind the left ear. Turn to face the right knee. And with the spine straight, start to pull the right elbow towards your right knee. Feeling the stretch into the back left diagonal side of the neck. And release, come back up to center, other side. Neck to center, face forwards, bring the left hand behind the right ear. 
look towards the left and fold. Continuing to keep nice and long deep breaths in and out through the nose. And release. Press back up to center. Bring both hands behind the head and pressing with the hands into the head, bring the chin toward the chest and allow the elbows to fall forwards. So just as we started, but this time adding the weight of the arms intensifies the stretch maybe feeling it into the top of the spine and shoulders as well and gently come back up to center bring the arms by the side of the body and roll the shoulders out a couple of times forwards and then back Now adding on a bit of a wider opening for the shoulders, bring the right hand close to the right knee and take a few circles, sweeping the arm forwards. Inhale all the way up and exhale, bring it back and down. Inhale, sweep it forwards, make a big circle, back and down. So working into the mobility of the shoulder joint as we wake up this area. Last one. And release. Other side. Left hand close to the hip. Inhale. Sweep the arm forwards. Lift all the way up. Big rotation into the shoulder. Bring it back. And down. Three more. Inhale. Stretch forwards. Up. Back. Last one, nice deep inhale, reach forwards, lift all the way up. Exhale, back and down. A wrist stretch. Bring the right hand forwards with the palm facing towards your device and grab a hold of your fingertips. Pull them in towards you. You can use the thumb behind the wrist to intensify the stretch. We're opening up the whole front of the arm stretching out the wrist, the palm of the hand. Release, bend the elbow, give it a few circles. Other side, left hand forwards, palm facing the device, grab a hold of the fingertips and pull them in towards you. And release, bend the elbow, give it a few circles. And now both hands, palms face forwards, fingertips towards the floor, bring them to the floor and then start to lean forwards with a straight spine. So using the weight of the body to create this deep stretch for the wrists. Hold it here, a couple of breaths. If it's too intense, back off slightly. If it's not intense enough, you can walk the hands farther away. Building up a bit of intensity, a bit of tingling sensation in the wrist. It's a great posture. Counterbalance all our texting and typing all day. Great for bringing new, fresh circulation to this area. slowly lean back nice and slow as you exit this one face might get stuck bend the elbows lift the hands underneath and start to bounce the hands back to life <laughs> bringing circulation back in you can shake them out if it feels good make a few circles and then add our lovely jazz hands when it feels good to bring the circulation back into the fingers lovely Hands onto the knees, take a deep inhale, arch the spine, open the front of the body for a cat cow in seated position. 
exhale, pull the navel in, round the spine, crunch the core, and look for the navel, feeling the stretch into the shoulder blades and into the spine. Inhale, press the hands into the knees, open the whole front of the body, lift the chest up. Exhale, nice and slow, round the spine, compress the front, stretch out the back. And two more nice deep breaths. slowly back into neutral for our spine twist on the inhale raise the arms up towards the ceiling to create the length stretch up exhale turn and twist to the right bring the left hand onto the right knee right hand onto the base of your spine pull the navel in and twist towards the right looking towards the back of the room pull the navel in and use your core strength to help you deepen this twist Take a nice deep inhale, stretch up. Exhale, turn and twist a little bit deeper. And release, come back into neutral with the spine. Inhale, stretch the arms up. And exhale, turn and twist to the left. Right hand onto the left knee. Draw the shoulders away from the ears, pulling the navel in and twisting a little bit further. And release. Back to center. Inhale, stretch up to create the length. Interlace all ten fingers. Reverse the palms and stretch them up towards the ceiling. Feeling the stretch around the shoulders, lengthening the waist and stretching out the wrists again. Release, bring the shoulders down and the hands to the side. Grab a hold of your strap and create a 90 degree angle into the arms. So nice and tight, pull the hands away from each other so you're already engaging your arm muscles. Nice and strong, bend the elbows, cactus arms. So yes, shoulder height. And then place the strap behind the neck. Now you're not just placing it there, but you're actually letting the weight of the head lean back slightly. So you, almost as if you want to fall back with the head. Once it's placed at the center of the head, start to pull with the right arm. And notice how the head starts to slide and look towards the left hand. Then pull with the left and start to look to the right. So we're continuing to stretch the neck, opening it up as we add a little bit of arm strength at the same time. Instead of just stretching out the neck, we're also building strength into the arms. Going at your own pace, not too fast. Just finding a nice, good pace for yourself. Feeling the arms start to shake, the last two. to center, hands in front for our shoulder detox. Four fingers on top, thumb underneath, and bring the arm shoulder height. The first one is usually to measure the distance. On the inhale, bring the arms up and draw them back into a semicircle. Then bring them back up and forwards. If that was too easy, make less distance between the hands. If it was a bit too intense for the shoulders, give yourself more distance. Once you've figured out the correct distance for your shoulders, lock the elbows, and give yourself a few semicircles back and forth, opening up the shoulder joint, opening and stretching around the arms and the chest as well. And now raise the arms up. I lean them slightly back and hold it in that place, your edge, 
that you usually skip as quickly as possible. Once you find it, hold it there. Keep the elbows locked, relax the shoulders and the spine straight. Remembering to breathe smoothly in and out through the nose. Posture for improving circulation to the shoulder area. Now slowly coming out as things might get stuck, bring the arms forwards and give yourself two more semicircles just to make sure we keep the mobility into the shoulder areas. And release. Bring the strap onto the side. Turn around into an all fours position as we prepare to move into a downward dog. Spread the fingers wide, tuck the toes, press the hips towards the heels, and raise the hips up towards the ceiling. Now, the hamstrings might feel like they've been a bit sleepy, so they might be tight. We haven't really engaged them yet. You may want to walk the legs out a couple of times, warming up the hips and the back of the legs. And then come back to center with both feet hip width to set up your down dog for the correct alignment. Spread the fingers wide, roll the shoulders out and the forearms in to get the weight out of the wrist into the knuckles. And draw the shoulders away from the ears. It's as if the armpits are trying to face each other. Keep pressing the armpits down unless you're extra flexible, then you want to bring them back up in line with the wrist and the hips. And if needed, you can always bend the knees to ensure you maintain that forward rotation in the pelvis. This is a great posture for, for improving the circulation to the upper body, opening up the chest, shoulders, and lower back, as well as improving your skeletal alignment. Last two deep breaths here. With your next inhale, look forwards and start to walk the feet to bring them behind the hands, ragdoll. Bend the knees, grab a hold of the opposite elbow, allow the head to hang heavy and sway side to side. You're welcome to keep holding the opposite elbows. Or if you'd like to give the neck a little bit of extra stretch, bring the hands behind the head with the thumb towards your temples as if you're holding a bowling ball. And allow the weight of the arms to just pull the head down, passively stretching the neck. Don't try to pull. Keep the hands there and the weight of the arms is going to create that traction, that stretch for the neck and spine. Now release the hands. Keep the knees bent nice and soft. Pull the navel in and slowly roll yourself up one vertebra at a time. As soon as you're up, roll the shoulders away from the ears a couple of times. And bring the hands to prayer chest. Feet stay hip width apart. Pull the navel in. Squeeze the glutes nice and tight. Now we're going to work Utkatasana with a bit of shoulder work. So grab a hold of your strap. Come back to your feet hip width apart if you had to move from your mat to grab a hold of your strap. And then bring the hands forwards. We're going to start with the twist. So inhale, lengthen the spine, and on the exhale, bend the knees and draw the hips towards the back of the room. Knees stay above the ankles. Look down to make sure you can still see the toes. If you can't, bring the knees back, lift up higher. Now pulling the navel in, engage the core, and pull the right arm back. Bend the elbow as if you're shooting an arrow with your left hand forwards. Then bring the hand forwards, and bend the left. Keep the chest lifted. Three more of these. Feeling the twist into the spine as we strengthen the arms and we continue to strengthen the glutes. Alright, the 
Bend the left and right elbow in. Bend the left. So when one elbow is bent, the other one is extended and the elbow stays shoulder height. We should start to build a little bit of a sweat here already. And release, extend the legs, bring the arms to the side, take a deep breath. Our second set is going to be just the same, but with the arms in the air. So take a deep inhale, raise the arms up. And on the exhale, bend the knees and sit the hips towards the back of the room. Engage your core muscles, pull the navel in, and bend the elbow down towards your waist, stretching the left arm up. Extend the right arm back to center. Bend the left elbow into the waist. And extend. Three more of these. Stay low with the hips. Feel the strength into the arms so there's tension between the two hands. The, the rope, the strap is not loose. There's actual tension as you're pulling the left away from the right. The thigh should be starting to burn. Sit down lower for the last one. Extending and pulling away. And release. Extend the legs, bring the arms forwards. So don't let go of your strap. Take a deep breath and take a wider step with the feet for our warrior series. Turn to face your right foot. Bend the right knee and lift the left heel up. Set yourself up nice and strong. Take a deep inhale, extend the arms forwards. Lock the back leg, and just as we did earlier, four sets. Bend the right elbow towards you. So twisting, extend the left arm forwards. Come back to center, and then bend the left elbow towards you, and bring the left heel onto the floor, warrior two. Come back to your warrior one. Twisted warrior two, bend the right elbow back, twist into the spine, back to center, bend the left elbow and bring the left heel down. Two more. Keep going nice and slow, not too slow, but not even like speeding through so you don't really feel it. Keep pulling one arm away from the other, so both arms forwards in warrior one. Bend the right elbow back and twist it, warrior two. Look towards the right shoulder. Bring the arms forward and the left elbow back. Arms forward, lift the heel up. And bring the arms to the floor, towards the mat. To extend the legs, pivot onto the heels. Turn to face the left. Same exact posture to the left. Set yourself up. Lift the right heel up. Bend the left knee and sink the hips down low. Lock the back leg. So not bent, but locked nice and tight. Take a deep inhale, raise the arms up and start with a twist. Pull the left elbow towards the back of the room. Stretch the right arm forwards and look towards the back. Extend the arms forwards and pull the right elbow. Warrior two, press the heel, right heel into the floor. Come back to warrior one with the left heel lifted, right heel lifted, excuse me. And bring to left elbow, right out, el left elbow back. <laughs> back into your warrior one. And then warrior two with the right heel onto the floor, pull the right elbow back. Two more to go on this side. Extend the arms forward nice and tight. Pull back. With your left elbow, look beyond the left shoulder. Extend the arms forwards with intensity. Warrior two, right elbow back. Last one, if I'm counting correctly, for a total of four sets. Nice and strong, lock the right knee. Extend the arms. Warrior two, press the right arm forwards, left elbow back. Pull. Extend the arms forward, extend the left leg, curl the left toes in and take a deep breath. <sighs> Two more warriors. Warrior, uh, which one is it? <laughs> Straight leg triangle into reverse warrior. So pivot onto the right heel, once again facing the right foot, starting to the right side. 
lock both knees, curl the, turn the left toes in into a 45 degree angle, and with a nice deep inhale, raise the arms up above the head. So just as we did earlier, the bending one at a thing, one and then the other, but this time adding the warrior. So take a deep inhale, stretch up, and with the exhale, bend the right elbow, bring it towards your right leg, and stretch the left arm up, looking up towards the left hand. Come back to center, bend the right knee, reversed warrior. Bring the left elbow into the waist. That was one set, two more to go. Extend the legs, bring the arms up, bend the right elbow towards your right thigh, and look up towards the left arm. And come back to center, reverse the warrior. Bend the right knee, bend the left elbow, stretch the right arm up. Inhale, stretch and extend. Two more at your own pace, nice and slow. Keep the spine straight, the knees locked in your warrior one. Nice big opening and your reverse warrior, you have the strap to help you intensify. One. And come back to center. Keep the arms up. Pivot onto the heels. Take a smaller distance between the hands if you found that was too easy. Turn to face the left foot. Same exact thing. Pull the navel in. Inhale, stretch up. Bend the left elbow towards the left thigh. Straight leg triangle. Look up towards your right hand. Now pull back up, extend the left, bend the right, and bend the bottom leg. Reverse the warrior. That was one. Three more to go. Keep moving at your own pace. start to lose intensity between the arms, take a smaller distance between the hands. Last one. Where's my hip? <laughs> Back to center, release the arms forwards, turn the left toes in, bring the strap to the side, and place the hands behind your back, interlacing all 10 fingers for prasarita. If you find it's too intense without the strap, grab a hold of the strap. Stretch the arms away from the body, inhale, stretch up. And on the exhale, fold from the hips. Allow the head to hang heavy, and reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Couple of deep breaths here. Breathing in and out through the nose. As we open and stretch the shoulders and the chest. And opening up and stretching the inner and back of the thighs as well. and slow pull the arms back to lift yourself back up step the right foot in to meet the left arms above your head palms touch <laughs> and arms by the side of the body in prayer chest take a lovely deep breath well done that was your standing series come down to a kneeling position in child pose press the forehead onto the mat or onto a block and wrap the arms around the body, taking a few deep breaths here, completely relax. And with your next inhale, slide the hands underneath the shoulders and push yourself up into an all fours position. We're going to lie down onto the front of the body. If anybody wants to throw in a little push-up, you're welcome to do so. Otherwise, lying down in a comfortable manner. Doing the push-up. Shift the weight forwards, press the mat away, bend the elbows into the waist, and come down super slow for six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Wiggle the hips out. 
and set up for your cobra. Zip up the legs, point the toes, lock the knees, keeping the elbows into the waist. Take a nice deep inhale to lengthen the spine and peel the upper third of the spine up off the mat. Press the front of the feet into the floor and using only your back strength, no weight into the hands, lift the chest up higher, trying to reach one more rib cage up off the floor, shoulders away from the ears. Lift up, hold it. Exhale, release, lower yourself down. Bring the forehead onto the mat. Grab a hold of your strap. Open the feet hip with a pot. And just as we did earlier in the shoulder detox, we're going to make semicircles in our cobras. Nice tight grip, open it up. Nice distance, wider than your shoulder width. Pull the navel in, take a deep inhale, press the front of the feet into the floor and raise the arms up towards the ceiling and semicircle them back. Exhale, forwards and down. That was one, three more. Inhale, reach up, semicircle back. Exhale, forwards and down. Last two, inhale. And release. Bring the forehead to the floor, make a pillow with the hands. Take a deep breath here. Half bow is next. Bend the right knee and bring the strap around the right foot. So just above the ankle, then bring the strap in both hands, not just one, but two different hands, just like that. Yes. Flex the foot so that the strap doesn't go flying. Bring the elbows closer in towards each other. And with your next inhale, kick into the Strap to lift the chest and the thigh up off the floor, opening up the shoulders, opening up the chest, extend the arms and look up. Keep kicking as hard as you can. And now bend, really slow yourself down and bring the arms towards the back. So you're going to get a less distance between the strap, between the hands and the strap. So it's the same exact leg, but a different stretch for the chest. And take a deep inhale to kick into the strap. Keep kicking as hard as you can. Look forward. Relax the left leg, just the right leg working. Kick. And release. Slow yourself down. Release the right foot. Bend the left. Other side. So give yourself space. Bring the hands towards the end of your strap for the first set. Elbows bent in front of you. Flex the left foot. Take a nice deep inhale and kick into the hand, into the strap. Lift the arms up, open up the front of the body. Kick as hard as you can. Slowly release, slow yourself down. Bring the hands towards the back. Make it a shorter distance between the hands and your strap, so closer towards the foot. And then take a nice deep inhale, kick into your strap. So you're opening up the shoulders, opening up the chest. I know, sometimes getting the strap in the correct position takes a bit longer. Kick as hard as you can, open the chest and release. Now keep the left knee in there, the left foot, bring the right foot as well. And we're going to do the double as if you were doing a regular bow, but with your strap. Take a nice deep inhale, open up the shoulders and kick into your strap. Open up the shoulders and the chest, kick as hard as you can. Keep lifting up higher. Kicking as hard as you can one last time. And release, lower yourself down. Bring the strap in front of you. Make a pillow with your hands. 
and take a deep breath. Now this is where the fun begins with the strap <laughs> for the rack. You're going to place the strap, the long edge, the end of your strap through the loop and keep it loose. So just like that, so that this strap can go back and forth. You don't want to tie it up so that it stays in a specific position. You just want to pass it through one time. Then bend the knees, lean, reach back to bring the strap into both feet. The iron part where the belt is, is going to be on the inside where the arches are. Don't place it onto the actual ankles. If you find that this um, grip is uncomfortable, you can turn around and take a bridge instead. But this version, the rack, is really to open the chest and shoulders. So as soon as you have the foot, feet into the strap, just like that, bring the arms forwards, bend the elbows. As soon as the feet are in, it takes a while. This one is the trickiest of them all. After a few practices, it does get easier once you know what you're doing with the loop and the strap. Bring the arms forwards, nice tight grip onto your strap. Extend the arms so they're locked from the beginning. So even if you're bringing the hands farther away, that's okay, lock the elbows. And with a nice deep inhale, kick into the strap as hard as you can. This will help lift the chest and the arms up. Keep the elbows locked. We're aiming to open up the front of the body. The knees can stay bent, or if you can go into full extension, you're welcome to. Just keep kicking as hard as you can. It's a deep, deep stretch for the front of the body, the shoulders and the chest. Hold it three, two, one. Bend the knees, lower yourself down, take a deep breath, and set up for your second set. You can place the other hand on top, just reversing the grip for a bit of variety. Lock the elbows, take a nice deep inhale and kick into the hands, lift up. Going straight to where you left it. Getting a little bit deeper into the shoulders and into the chest. Look up, kick harder and lift for three, two, one. Release, bend the knees, put the strap to the side. Look to the right, left your arm to the left and relax. Yeah. Look to the left, bring the right ear onto the mat, give the neck an equal stretch, and then bring the forehead back to center. As the hands into the floor, tuck the toes, bring the hips to the heels, wide child. Open the knees, the width of your mat, press the hips towards the heels. And stretching the fingertips towards the corners of the mat, allow the forehead to rest onto the floor or onto a block. Two deep breaths here. And slowly slide the hands back underneath the shoulders. Push yourself back up. Crossing over so that you can turn around and lie down with the feet towards the back of the room, hands behind the thighs. Gently roll one vertebra at a time down onto the mat. And with your hands onto the hips, press the lower back into the mat. <sighs> Finding problem with chest opening. Drop the knees out to the side. Allow them 
to fall down towards the mat. And then grab a hold of one of your blocks. Bend the elbows into the waist. Press into the mat to lift the chest up. And then slide your block underneath between the shoulder blades. So just at the mid top of your spine. The top of your block is going to end up at the bottom of the neck. You may want to place it already onto the floor so you can lie onto it. And give yourself a few moments to really adjust. Make sure that the spine is onto it at center. Then allow the head to hang. If it's uncomfortable on the neck and the head is quite far away from the mat, you may want to place a different block or a cushion underneath the head. Just make sure it's comfortable for you. We're aiming to open up the thoracic spine, the chest. And close the eyes if you haven't already. And take a few calming, deep breaths here. few deep breaths in this posture. And coming out slowly with the support of the arms, bring them back close into the waist. Press the elbows in from the mat, chin into the chest. Release the block and bring the shoulders back down onto the mat. Bring the knees together, draw them in towards your chest and make a few circles clockwise and anti clockwise. Rocking side to side if that feels good. Final spine twist. Bring the feet down onto the mat. Extend the left leg away. Keep the right knee bent. Reach the right arm out to the side. And with your left hand, gently encourage the right knee to the left. Look beyond the right fingertips and enjoy this lovely final detoxifying spine twist. Twisting from the crown of the head to your toes. Gently untwist, come back to center. Extend the right, bend the left, other side. Your right hand, pull the left knee to the right and look beyond the left shoulder. Press the left shoulder down to feel that twist into the top of the spine. And pull the left knee to the right. Intensify the twist into the lower back as well. Gently untwist, slide the left leg away and make yourself comfortable in this final savasana. Arms by the side of the body. 
Relax the shoulders. Relax the neck. The forehead. And the jaw. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose, filling up the lungs as much as you can. And now hold the breath, the tension of the breath from full lungs. Slowly exhale through the nose, letting go of all the stale air. Empty out the lungs completely and hold it on empty lungs. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six. Hold the breath. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Hold on empty. Inhale. Hold the breath. Exhale. Hold on empty. Last set at your own pace. Inhale. When you've completed your fourth and final set, allow the breath to gently flow back in. And give yourself a few moments here of complete stillness. Simply observing each inhale. And each exhale. any feelings around the body and enjoy this moment of calmness and stillness. Thank you for joining and sharing your virtual energy with all of us this evening. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Namaste.